Hey guys, this is CD Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to use render layers. And render la what render layers do is that they allow you to take separate objects and apply different composite node effects to uh, only certain objects. So before I get started, please comment and rate this video, subscribe to my page, and add me as a friend if you need a friend. Okay, so first we need a scene, so let's go ahead and set one up. Let's go ahead and um, position the camera, press G. If you want to zoom in and out, just hold the middle mouse button and move up or down. That's about good. Let's go ahead and change this to 3D curver cursor, and this is the pivot point. So if we press R twice to go to trackball, we can just move it around this. So let's go ahead and put it here, straight it out. Okay, that's pretty good. Delete this. Now let's add two Suzans or monkeys. Instead of duplicating them, let's just add two separate ones so that they don't share the same um, materials and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and oops, turn this back to medium point we put this about there however you want just for the point of this let's go ahead and zoom in a little more alright so let's give these some subsurf modifiers oops wrong one sorry subsurf set smooth okay subsurf set smooth okay now what you want to do is you want to move one of these, either of them, to the second layer here. So I'm going to select this one, press M, and move it to this layer right here. So now if we go here, it has um, it has the this is it's there, but it's just on a separate layer. So, but if we press Alt Z, you'll see that it has no lighting; it's just blank. So we need to give that its own light. So let's go ahead and set up the light here. So shift D, put it right here, and press M, and put it on the same layer as the other monkey. And now it affects that layer. Oops. Okay. Let's go ahead and just set up the light a little better. It's not all that important though. Okay, now let me just fix some settings. Because everyone who's seen my tutorials knows that I don't have the strongest computer in the world, so I just gotta speed things up okay and that looks okay it's fine okay so now let's go on the camera view let's go ahead and do uh... turn do composite on since we're going to be using the, uh... some composite nodes in a minute now let's go to render layers now let's set up two render layers let's call this one suzanne one copy that name okay and this one is only going to have the first layer since the first layer has the first suzanne and it just uh, and to have that, just check this one on, and that means that this render layer will only have, will only affect this um, layer with all of those objects in it. Let's go ahead and press Add New, and this one Suzanne Two, and this one will only have the second layer. Okay, guys. So now, go into the Node Editor, select this, use Nodes, and this is uh, for composite nodes. So now, if we press F12, you'll see that the only, the only thing that's there is the first Suzanne. But we, as you guys saw, we had both layers uh, here, so why wouldn't it render? And the reason for this is because the only render layer here is Suzanne 1, so we need to add a new render layer. Press Shift D, put it down here, call this Suzanne 2. But now we can't put two render layers at the same time. Uh, on the same thing. See, it can only be either or. So let's just go ahead and fix that. So select this one and then shift select this one. Press space, add color, and select uh, Z combine. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to put Z to Z here and Z to Z there and put it right here. Okay. Let me add a viewer, viewer node. Okay, go ahead and use backdrop. As you can see, they're both here. So let's go ahead and press F12, see if it worked. And cool. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and just move these over. Now we can uh, do different things to these um, different render layers. So let's select this, let's give this one a glow. Go to filter, let's just blur this one out. Select blur. Turn this to fast Gaussian blur. Okay. 
This term is 25 by 25. Put image to image. And as you can see, it's all weird and blurred out and things like that. So you can see you can change the effect and everything like that. But let's just for the sake of it. Now that's a little bit blurred. Now select these two. And let's go ahead and put a mix here. And just to add. Uh, this is just showing you guys, you know, how to uh, use render layers here. And now let's turn this to one. See this one glows and this one doesn't. And after that, we can even put some RGB curves here to affect the color of it. Like, this is the overall color. Let's turn it a little red. As you can see, you can turn it red or green or yellow or whatever you want. Turn the add down. as you can see and this is just the basics of it see how much time you know there's um other ways you can do it let's see what other ways you might be able to find out I think you can do it with alpha over I'm not exactly sure but we can try just to see we move it in closer so that I can join it okay yeah it did work as you can see so this is another way we can do it just put uh, the this one up here and that one there but as you can see if you try to zoom in here or never mind there's this weird white outline and to fix that just press convert and it fixes it automatically and this is this setup here is a little simpler to me you know you can do you know there's only two lines here so let's go ahead and affect and uh, mess with this one now uh, let's see, let's give it, um, let's go ahead and give it a defocus, this up here, actually what was I thinking, no, that's for something else, let's just give it RGB curves, you know, be simple with it, just to show you guys, let's go ahead and make it green or something, but as you can see, this one affects the whole background, so, you know, you would have to put it on different window layers again, but you know, it doesn't look bad, it's fine. So now let's sh press Shift D, duplicate this, and uh, put this one over here. Okay, so now you can like give it different effects. this one kind of strange or whatever but yeah so that's about the gist of it so if you like this tutorial please comment and rate add me as a friend if you like my stuff and subscribe to my videos if you enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to watch more so thanks for watching bye